Imagine a world where every word ever written, every picture ever painted and every film ever shot could be viewed instantly in your home via an information superhighway. Welcome back again. It's another alleged gameplay video. Yeah, this one nearly slipped past me, this one. Yeah, nearly did. I saw it briefly for a few moments. A couple of months ago, uh, somebody was being announced or something on YouTube, and then it just completely slipped my mind, and a friend of mine reminded me that it was on Xbox Gold, so I was all over that. So I'm quite far into it. Uh, I know it's got a lot of negative coverage. Far from perfect. Uh, please don't preach to me about the original because I do still have the original. Completed it many times on various levels. And I was such a fan. I know... Nintendo fanboys out there would probably crucify me. I actually believed that, that GoldenEye and Mario 64 were probably the only two reasons to own the N64, in my humble opinion. So, yeah, uh, we know what the game is. It is playable. There's been no game-breaking bugs so far. Um, it's got some unusual quirks, it runs okay, uh, it kind of doesn't like you to sidestep too much in the environment, does that make sense? Drops quite a few frames, and in places on the larger levels, like the dam level, it can all get a little bit shoddy, a little bit shaky, the polygons, yeah, so... And also, you'll often find you can't find something, like a key card, for example, because it clips into, into the floor or the wall or something. So yeah, a bit frustrating, but you know me, being the pragmatist that I am, it's a, a rather pleasant way to go back and play this. Uh, very clear nice and clear it's not a reboot or anything like that it's had no major work on it it's just higher definition and yeah i just like the clarity i mean you know the worst thing that blighted the n64 was it's kind of let's face it soft focus porn filter it looked terrible in my opinion looked absolutely terrible fair enough the kind of polygon geometry was a little bit more stable a lot more stable than the playstation one but i preferred the clarity of the ps1 no getting away from it absolutely no getting away from that fact i hated i hated the n64 permanent fog even with the expansion pack really did but that's out of the way so yeah, and despite finishing this uh, on quite a few occasions, I found myself stuck quite a few times. Um, so I learnt about the bug with the key cards because I could not progress on this level. So I had to Google that and then uh, the advice on there was to check pretty much every inch of the room because the likelihood was that the key card had clipped into the floor which it had and then for the life of me I couldn't remember where the helicopter um, flight recorder went so yeah far from perfect far from perfect that's for sure um, but apart from the clarity there's also the control method much more satisfying control method I mean I did get used to the N64 especially with Turok, kind of got used to it in the end, but it's a pig to go back to. Not interested in the online features, I don't think there is on this, I think that's the Switch, but multiplayer, I never really got into that, I understand it's a laugh, 
But as usual, I thought I would share this with you. I always used to love this. Pull up the menu via the wristwatch. Lovely feature. Guys, take care. Give it a go. See you soon.